I'm Jasmine Barmore in Detroit. A fist fight that led to gunfire on this block claimed the life of one young man. I spoke with his family about the tragedy, and they tell me he was the gentle giant of their family. I will miss you. I will miss you. A grieving father, one day after receiving the worst news of his life, that his son, 20-year-old Tavante Mathis Jones, was shot and killed. They took a good kid. He wasn't a kid with no racker. He went out here doing this and doing that. He worked. He was a nurse. Played football. It's my big baby. Tavante was gunned down on Detroit's east side and what police say started as an altercation involving a group of people that ended in gunfire. Three other people were also shot. Two of them are in critical condition and one listed as stable, according to police. Tavante's family says they have no idea what the argument was about, but witnesses tell them Tavante was only trying to help. Died trying to break somebody up and fight. He, that's the way he died. He didn't die no other way. Tay's older sister, Alexis Anderson, says she always warned her brother to be careful. And my brother was a big giant. And I would always tell him that he had to be careful because people would just see him in his size and they would not think that they could have a fair fight. So he needed to be mindful of his actions, be mindful of his demeanor, his words. When you'd see him, he would interact with you and he'd say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. He treated people with dignity and respect and he had the utmost respect for his elders. Tavante's mother walked in while I sat with the family. She flew in from Texas where she lives in her only words. Welcome to my baby. Welcome to my baby. Now Tavante's family, or Tay as he was affectionately called by those who knew him, are left reeling in pain, trying to figure out where to go from here. And his six-month-old daughter will now grow up without a father. It's tough because we lost a good guy. We lost a good guy. I just wish I could have been there because I would have took that one for him, my baby. Now police say no arrests have been made as of yet, but the family says anyone who wants to help them as they prepare to lay their loved one to rest can donate to their GoFundMe. For more information, go to our website. We have a link there with all the information. On the city's east side, I'm Jasmine Barmore, 7 News Detroit.